All right, hello P5. So you've probably just seen what we're learning about, but I'm sure because you guys are super smart anyway, you can work it out from this picture. What could we be learning about today? It is feelings. So anybody know another word for feelings? So it begins with an E. Let me give you guys a second to think about it before I show you. Oh, it is emotions. We can see up here emotions. So feelings or emotions are the reaction you have to things. Sometimes they can be very strong. So down here, we've got a picture of this guy. Doesn't look too happy. It says Aaron's dog has died. How does he feel? How would you feel if you had a pet who had just died? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't feel happy. You would feel sad. And how can we tell that this sadness is a strong feeling, a strong emotion for our guy Aaron over here? What is he doing that shows that he is sad? Aaron is crying. There we go. So that's how we know this sadness is a strong feeling or a strong emotion. All right, let's go. This is some simple stuff, guys. I'm sure you can get this. So describing emotions. We have got four faces on this screen, starting over here. This guy pulling a big smile. How does he feel? Happy. This guy got a little downturned face, those eyes not looking too happy. Sad. This red guy down here. How do we think he feels? Angry. And then last but not least, screaming, a little bit blue. We have got scared. Okay, so you've got happy, sad, angry, and scared. Those are the four emotions or feelings we are going to be talking about today, okay? So we know the basic word for happy, but the great thing about English is how many different words it has. So we have so many different words for happy. I'm going to start showing you some now. We've got cheerful. Cheerful. That's another word for happy delighted, delighted, overjoyed, you can be overjoyed, jolly, and the last one, chuffed. So, something that could make you happy, maybe getting a nice present for your birthday. If you get a nice present for your birthday, you could be jolly. If you get a good grade on your test or on your homework, you would be delighted. Uh, maybe you've made a new friend. You're going to be overjoyed. Maybe it's just a nice sunny day and that makes you feel not just happy, but cheerful. Maybe you won a game of cards. You would feel chuffed. There we go. Moving on. We've got some more words for sad. Let's see. Unhappy. Unhappy. Maybe you got a bad grade on your test. You would feel unhappy heartbroken. Oh no, that's another word for sad. Heartbroken. Maybe if you have something really not very tasty for your lunch, you could feel heartbroken. Miserable. That's another word for sad. Uh, something that could make you feel miserable. Oh, maybe it's a really rainy day and you just wanted to go outside and play basketball, but now you can't because it's a rainy day, so you're miserable. Distraught distraught, distraught. That's another word for sad. And finally, gloomy. So we've got heartbroken, unhappy, distraught, gloomy, and miserable. Other words for angry, furious, raging, vexed, irked. And is there another one? Hello? Oh, and fuming. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't quite see that one now on my screen. So yeah, we've got furious, vexed, irked, raging, and fuming. Things that can make me feel like that, maybe when I'm teaching a lesson and the students just aren't listening, I can feel a little bit irked. When would you feel irked? Maybe you're watching your favourite football team and they are losing. You would feel quite vexed. Maybe somebody's making a mean joke about you and you don't like it. You could feel furious. 
There we go. These are all different words for angry. And then the last one, excuse me. Thank you. Words for scared. Other words for scared. We've got alarmed, terrified, petrified, frightened, and nervous. So some things that could make you feel like that. Maybe you're watching a really scary film and it is making you feel alarmed or petrified or nervous. Maybe somebody told you a ghost story and now you feel frightened or terrified. Okay, so let's see. Now we know all of our different words for these emotions. How do they feel? So how does this little guy down here feel? You can see his parents are shouting at him. It says Fred's parents, sorry, let this go away. Fred's parents found out about his bad behavior at school. Oh, no, they found out Fred's been in trouble at school. How does how does Fred feel? I mean, how do his parents feel? Fred's parents, they feel angry. Fred down here feels pretty sad, I'm going to say. Maybe scared. Uh, and there we go. We've got angry. But which one of these is another word for angry? We just learned so many new words. I'm going to see if you can remember. Does, is gloomy. Does gloomy mean angry? Does chuffed mean angry? Or does raging mean angry? Let's see. The answer is raging. Well done if you said raging. Gloomy is another word for sad. And chuffed is another word for happy. Raging, if you are raging, it means you are angry. So the sentence is, Fred's parents are raging. Okay, moving on. We've got another person here. How do they feel? Samantha scored the winning goal for her football team. You can see she's put the ball in the back of the net there. Well done, Samantha. How do we think Samantha feels? I can see a little smile on Samantha's face. She feels happy. But let's see. Which one of these is another word for happy? Can we remember our fancy words for our emotions? So we've got terrified, delighted, or vexed. Which one of these means happy? Anybody remember? So... Well done if you said delighted. Terrified is another word for scared. Samantha is not feeling terrified right now. Delighted, obviously, is the right answer. We've got happy here. And vexed is another word for angry. So we could talk about Fred's parents being vexed. Samantha, however, is not vexed. She is delighted. Samantha is delighted. There we go. And now our next one. This one's pretty simple. Andrew just met a ghost. How does Andrew feel? He looks like he could be feeling pretty happy here. But how would you feel if you met a ghost? I'm going to say you would feel scared. I know I would. I would definitely feel scared if I met a ghost. But which one of these is another word for scared? We've got petrified, jolly, or heartbroken. Let's see, how is Andrew feeling? He's feeling scared. Which one of these means scared? Well done if you said petrified. Petrified is another word for scared. Jolly, if we don't remember it, that is another word for happy. And heartbroken is another word for sad. So Samantha would be feeling jolly, but Andrew is feeling petrified. Andrew is petrified. He's not just scared, he's petrified. Okay, next one. Hugo, we can see him here. Look at him, not looking too happy. Got a bad grade on his test. How do we think Hugo feels? Sad, yeah. Which one of these is another word for sad? Let's see if you can remember our fancy words. We've got alarmed, irked, and miserable. I wonder if anybody can remember which one of these means sad, alarmed, irked, or miserable. Well done if you said miserable. That is another word for sad. Alarmed is another word for scared. And irked is another word for angry. Okay, so Hugo is miserable. He's not just sad. He is miserable. 
Okay, and now finally, I want you to think about how do you feel? Try and think of one thing that you do or that has happened that makes you feel happy, sad, angry, and scared. One thing each, so four things in total. And then try and describe them with one of our new words. For example, something that makes me feel happy, maybe if you're in my class, you know this, is coffee. But I'm not just going to say coffee makes me happy. I'm going to use one of our new fancy words, and I'm going to say coffee makes me delighted. Okay, there we go. That's all for now, P5. Have a little think about your words and how you feel, and I will catch up with you very soon. Okay, cheers. Bye, guys.